welcome back boys and girls outdoors jeff here again so i'll do a little update for you on the uh the pepper project here just to show you all what's going on um, as you can see i think last time i showed you we was germinating just getting some started looking pretty good right looking good that wasn't that long ago and uh now you're all probably asking all right it's i live in new england here and it's uh april 10th what are you doing with your plants outside well i'm gonna answer that for you <clears throat> um we just did a round of feed on them. Uh, not going to get into what kind of feed I use because that's all, you know, in the eye of the beholder. Uh, I like to keep that a secret anyway. So, <laughs> anyway, they say don't use full strength feed on a seedling like like this size guy right here, this little uh, Chinese five color. So if you look at that little guy, they'll say, oh, don't don't use full strength fertilizer on that or feed on that. You kill them kill the seedlings well that one yeah you might be risking it uh you know when i come over here and i, I look at this 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 isn't a seedling that that's beyond now this this reaping it's called uh it's a cross between a reaper and a scorpion these size plants here they're not seedlings they can handle the full dose they love the full dose and i'll be honest with you i did this last year i didn't lose a single plant so i'm not worried about that why have i got them outside when I got plenty of light in the grow tent, you ask? Well, one big reason. <clears throat> you need to get your plants used to wind. They need to be stimulated. So these plants are flailing around here and a little bit of breeze going on today. They need that. They need to stimulate. Plant is like a muscle in your body, when you think about it. it it's it's got to gotta move. It's gotta, if not, if you don't get them used to it now and you put them out here full size, plant them, Put them in the ground or in your pots whatever you're gonna do they're gonna go into shock and the wind can do a number on them they can break they're not gonna be strong they won't be sturdy so you really want to have take them out on a day like this beautiful day it's probably about 70 degrees out today plenty warm enough for a pepper plant i would not leave them out overnight it's not that warm yet but see how they're moving around with that wind well a little tough to see on the camera but uh Trust me, they're moving. <laughs> uh, that's what you need. Now, last year I did have a, uh, a fan inside of the grow tent to stimulate the plants and move around. To do, so I didn't have to go through all this, but I had bad luck with the fan, as did many other people with that brand. Uh, and I believe it was the Vivo Sun uh, brand oscillating fan for the grow tents. And uh, I use a lot of their products. I use their grow tent. I use uh, their heat mats. I, I like their products as a whole. Their lights are good, but that fan was horrible. And so wasn't everybody else's experience with it. So I've seen a couple of other ones out there and they have horrible reviews as well. And I'm not gonna waste, you know, drop 30, $40 on a little oscillating fan to do that. And you do want it to oscillate. You don't want to just blow in one direction and just hit a few plants, you know, like blow over here and hit the, you, you, you want it to come back and forth, pan on your tent and stimulate all the plants. So until I find one that does that job without breaking and without having issues, uh, I'm just going to use this method. We'll bring them outside here, get some sunlight on this beautiful day, get a little breeze. I'll probably, it's about, eh, maybe 1 30 2 o'clock somewhere around there i will probably leave these guys out here until about maybe four o'clock or so give them a little natural sunlight too you can't beat it i mean grow lights are great don't get me wrong um and and i have a lot more of these still in the house that uh this short little seedlings just you know ridge you know with their uh little germination leaves nothing nothing no second set of leaves yet so we don't want to take them out yet it's too too early for them we want them to get a good good set of leaves or two on them, like these, preferably before you start feeding and bringing them outdoors. I did bring out the smaller ones. I'm not gonna complain, you know, it, it's it's not gonna hurt them, trust me. But, you know, you look at these little guys. All right, you got the first, here's your original set of leaves right here. These are the first true set of leaves. And it's just starting to pop a third set in the middle, you can see right there, so. In my opinion, that's ready to come outside. So, just a little tip with your peppers. Don't leave them indoors the entire time. Don't expect to put them out full size and have them be, 
prosperous because they will go into shock. That wind will snap them in half. And don't forget as they grow, and I'm gonna do another video on this later, pruning them. We don't want a long, see, see there's a good example. Right? And this is just a, a young one. See how long and lanky that is already leaning over? This is the kind of plant I'm gonna wait for a few more sets of leaves and we're gonna prune that. And what happens is the plant will bush out instead of growing straight up one skinny stalk. So that's gonna make a huge difference in the strength of your plant and a huge difference in the production of your plant. You will get a lot more peppers off a plant that's been pruned and you get the bush out and you can do it multiple times, not just once, trust me. Another video on that later. As these get big enough to do that, I'm gonna do another video on it and show you folks how to do it and do it the right way without hurting your plants or breaking them. And anyway, that's it for now. I'm gonna go back to enjoying this beautiful day. Look at that, ah, what a sky, huh? Beautiful day, all right. Hope you folks are enjoying your weekend. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Hit me up in the comments. I'll be happy to answer anything for you. All right, have a good day, boys and girls. We'll see you soon.